won't see anybody. Never. We won't see any buildings. Never. No one is coming to help. Never. You understand the never, never. This one's more so. It's more than people tell you. It's even harder. Who in their right mind looked at that area and said, oh, we could ride this. That sounds like a great idea. This is going to be epic. Oh. Baja's rough and it's a lot of terrain and it never goes smooth. It's definitely grueling. It's tough. It's, uh, it's not for everybody, that's for sure. It's kind of a special trip through hell. I mean, when you're riding up a trail that you're barely hanging onto the bike, it's only wide enough for your motorcycle. And then when you come up on a rock, it's got like a two foot ledge and you're like, I have to climb that? You know, what's coming after me next? You're gonna need to expect 10 to 12 hours a day on your dirt bike, pounding rough, hard rocks, whoops. We do 15, 1600 miles, you know, sometimes a couple hundred miles a day. It gets to be hard on, on your butt, on your back, on your hands. The problems that we have along the way are what makes this trip kind of special and, and, and the memories that we have. The type of friendships that are formed down here is, is amazing because we overcome so much adversity together. It's a fraternity forever, you know, you're going to be friends with these people forever. It's a family. It's a great adventure is what it is. It's an opportunity to come out to a really remote area with very little support, uh, a lot at stake, a lot on the line, and uh, conquer it. I'm Cameron Steele and I leave the Desert Assassins. Today, I'm leaving 38 dirt bikes behind me as we head to Cabo San Lucas from Tecate at the U.S. border.